So very late Saturday night in the city of Calgary, two Muslim men, Mohammed Salad and Mohammed Elmi, drive up to a bar in Calgary. Here's footage of the bar's closed circuit TV. So the car just pulls up and one of the two Mohammeds gets out and you can see he's carrying a gun and he just walks up to the door and shoots into the bar. And the bullet just goes between the heads of two patrons. You can see that through a camera in the bar. Those two people got the fright of their lives, but a 38-year-old man inside the bar was hit by a bullet. He was rushed to hospital. Immediately, bouncers at the bar tackle the one gunman. Police just happened to be a block or two away. They came by soon enough to help subdue the other Mohammed. And look, another thug gets out of the back seat of the car and tries to pull his friend Mohammed away from the bouncers until police come and tackle him too. So two Mohammeds have been charged with a bunch of offenses, attempted murder, firearms offenses. But seriously, look at that. Just walking up to a club and shooting in randomly a couple of guys named Mohammed. So at the police press conference the next day, a journalist, I'm not sure who, asked the obvious question. Was it terrorism? Are you looking at terrorism as a possible motive? I guess we're, we're looking into everything. We don't have a m motive yet. So the police are not ruling it out. They're looking at everything, including terrorism. So how did this story get covered in the mainstream media? Well, here's the front page of the newspaper of record in Calgary today. Big story on the top about Leonardo DiCaprio. And then their main story is about traffic courts. Seriously, if you break out a magnifying glass and look on the left-hand side of the page, you can see a microscopic mention. Bouncers tackle gunmen at Beltline nightclub. That's it. If you go to the story inside the newspaper, you have to read all the way down to the 25th paragraph before you get to the name of the two accused, the two Mohammeds. And the Herald did quote the nightclub, who called the attack, quote, a senseless and random act of violence. But how would the nightclub know that? Maybe it was, but they're not police investigators. Police have the man in custody. They say they don't know the motive, and it could be terrorism. They're not ruling it out. The Calgary Herald was at the police press conference when the cops said that. But the Herald preferred to quote the nightclub's Facebook page and put the names of the two Mohammeds deep down in the 25th paragraph. They wouldn't want anyone to get the wrong idea here. Here's the front page of the Calgary Sun. It's a tabloid, unlike the Herald. They know how to sell papers better than the Herald's front page exclusive on Traffic Corp. But they, too, put the suspect's names way, way down the story in the 18th paragraph and no mention of the word terrorism either. Why? Look, I have no idea if it was terrorism. I guess it was obviously terrifying and terrorizing to the people who were inside the bar. Uh, what I mean is, was it a Muslim jihad or just gang violence by two guys named Mohammed? I don't know. But look at the extreme effort the media is going to to avoid even discussing the possibility. The names of the suspects and what you can glimpse of them on the screen suggests they are Muslim immigrants from Somalia, one of the most violent, terrorism-infested, low-education places in the world. It's where modern piracy is based. It's where women are treated like property. It's where violence on the street is normal. And Canada, like Europe, has chosen to take countless thousands of migrants from Somalia, culturally unfit, economically unfit, socially unfit. Uh, I mean, their literacy rate for men is less than 50%. For women, only 25% of Somali women are literate. I mean, maybe this is just gang violence, not terrorism. But like the bar, I'm just guessing. I don't think the 38-year-old man shot in the chest really cares either way. Terrorism, gang violence, he still got shot. I examined literally 15 news stories about this, CBC, CTV, Canadian Press, etc., and not one of them mentioned the word terrorism, even though the police said it was a possibility. To me, that's the really scary news out of Calgary. Not that two guys named Mohammed shot up a bar, but that every journalist in the country is doing their level best to avoid talking about terrorism, even to the point of keeping the story off the front page of the local newspaper. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Ezra Levant.